Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Rage Shadow Legends, this is episode 98. So we're getting closer to one, episode 100. I don't know what to do in episode 100, if you have any ideas, let me know. Maybe it will be a one hour episode or something. Anyway, as you can see by right here, I've been just, I've been upgrading the chest plate of Tyrell. I've been doing some work just because I want to use him today in Arena. He is going to replace Tomb Lord. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but that's what I want to try. That's what I that's what I want to do. I don't know if it's good enough. I I know it's just he doesn't have any set bonuses here, but this is pretty good. Just I don't know. I uh, I don't want to mess up too many gear or, or use too much silver raptor. Uh, but yeah, he is typically using life steal gear. But um, but he didn't have enough speed to be quicker than my uh, than my ray. My ray has 199 speed, so I just need to upgrade upgrade his speed a lot. Uh, but I didn't want him to have less defense. So this is how he looks at the moment. And technically speaking, he also does have 167 accuracy. So technically speaking, once Hegemon with his 184 accuracy uh, decreases enemy attack, Tyrell should technically make them sleep. So if they do have any support heroes or whatever, uh, whatever the case, then they should not be able to do any, any hits because they will be asleep. If it happens, of course. Uh, so that's that's kind of that's the that's the plan anyway to to see how he does. Uh, so I just wanted him to be a little bit get gooder, and he will also decrease their defense, which is also very good because that kind of replaces the tumbler thing. So technically, this guy instead of instead of just decreasing their defense because their attack is already decreased, uh, he just makes people go sleep, uh, go bye bye. So I'm curious how that how that will go. So let's see if we can find someone strong here. I suppose we can start off with a pretty strong team, 155k team power. I will take out Tomb Lord um, and I will put in Tyrell. And I'm, I don't know if he will deal much damage or not. He does have 144.9 and 144.7. He actually does have a higher power than my, <laughs> than my Tomb Lord. So I'm not sure how this will go. I'm actually looking forward to it. I might take a screenshot uh, just for the thumbnail because I figured why not just make it in the beginning here. Okay. I'm not, I, I have no idea how this will go. I have genuinely no idea. I will obviously hit first with my Hegemon, but the more I like more from that, I have no idea what will happen. So let's see here if these guys have a lot of accuracy, uh, a lot of the resistance. Okay, so it's good that I did that to their big gun. A big gun. I will increase my turn meter. Now I will do this. I do have 156 uh, accuracy. I'm not sure if that's good enough. It puts the big unas to to sleep at least. My uh, my ray just kind of kicked their butts. I was also provoked a lot. That's more that martyr skill is insane. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just do that and decrease her attack, and just decrease her defense. Uh, what I, I I honestly I'll just weaken her. Why not? She's resisting. So that this is a resist resisting hero. You should I I should say, attacks one enemy. Uh, it decreases the tur turn meter. Okay, so she's just resisting a lot. She's a, she's a very she's a hero with a lot of resistance. But I think that sleep thing was very useful. But yeah, I do have a seventy percent chance, or I have seventy five percent chance. I don't have a one hundred percent chance because the skills isn't leveled up. Wow, what a team! That's ninety two k power. Uh, his skills just isn't leveled up, so he doesn't have a hundred percent chance, even if he has the accuracy to do it, which is a bad thing. So I just need a lot of uh, epic skill bucks. Also, yeah, incredible John upgrade the chest plate. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, so let's see here if this if this happens, um, if he can put someone to sleep. Okay, so he, he puts the Arbiter asleep, which is fantastic. Then I will banish. And yeah, maybe that made the Arbiter, maybe it was her turn. And yeah, any, anyway, that's pretty cool. Let's fight this team at 118k team power. I don't know if he's better. I think maybe Mox skilled, he could prove to be better than my Tomb Lord, but I'm not sure. He, I love his poison and everything. So I skill locked the Rorschard, which is a fantastic thing. Uh, now I will see if I can put someone to sleep. I put two of them to sleep, the Warm Mother and the Gorgrab, they will obviously wake up. So it's, it's not too powerful, because uh, they will wake up when my Ray hits, but that's fine, in my opinion. Uh, whom will I weaken? I think I'll just work on taking out the Rushard. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's let's decrease the turn meter a little bit here. Let's just let's just do a lot of stuff here. Let's see if I'm able to stun this person. Oh, I should have done it on Rushard because I'm pretty certain that Rushard uh, did have a little turn meter there because I already 
decreased it with my with my with my arbiter. This team right here could be very good. This is an insane team, and they have a freaking tomb lord. I love it. They actually do have a tomb lord. That's fantastic. Uh, also, congratulations, Ayla Ace, for ranking up Elhain. That's pretty cool. And English 120. Shout out to English 120. Let's see here if if this is going to work. So I skill locked at least the Shuranami, which is fantastic. Uh, my attack and defense is decreased, uh, and I'm heavily poisoned as well. Dang, I took a lot of damage from Skull Crown. <laughs> Skull Crown kind of just kicked my ass here. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of getting wrecked. Oh god, that's I don't know how people make their Skull Crown just kind of kick ass like that. Because that's an insane Skull Crown. How do you make a Skull? Is Skull Crown really that powerful? Because it's it's an epic hero, but she's kind of clearing my team. She's just being like, yeah, dude, uh, no. What if I put in my Tomb Lord? Would this change the battle? Would it have? I haven't changed any uh, Tomb Lord gear, so I'm curious if this would have changed anything. I assume if I skill lock uh, the the Skull Crown, the battle will be different. Yeah, yeah, the Skull Crown. Uh, yeah, the battle will obviously be different here. Yeah, and I also skill locked the Arbiter, so this should probably be a victory, I would imagine. And then I will do this, and I got an extra turn as well. Okay, and then they're poisoned, and then I get blighted, which is fine. And I will just freeze, and she will die. Yeah, but I, I, I think this was purely because of skill lock. This was a pretty large RNG battle. Let, let's continue. 151k team power. There is Tyrell, I'm curious. He he, is, he misses like 5 speed on uh, Tomb Lord, but that can be a game changer, so you never know. Uh, I didn't get to... Yeah, my, my Tomb Lord was quicker than their Tomb Lord. Right? I don't even remember, but anyway, let's let's continue. So I skill act 3 of them, which is very good. Um, who missed that other guy? That's, um, that's the guy who got nerfed, right? Or is that, is that an other guy? I don't even... I, I need to see his name afterwards. Let's see if I'm able to sleep any of these guys. Yeah, I slept three of them, which is fantastic. Now, even if it was their turn or were their turn, not it wouldn't have made any uh, many. It wouldn't have made a difference. Okay, cool. Ma Ma Max Ma Max Eisen, Max Eisen. Uh, it's Robar, right? That's Robar. I think that's the name of him. Robar. I may be wrong in saying that. Let's try and fight this player. Okay, no. 104k team power. What about you? 93k team power. Uh, what about you? 110k team power. I think I could fight Malikan probably. 110k team power isn't too bad. So I may as well. Also, my hair is a mess. I've been wearing a helm, like bicycle helmet, and and, and some other stuff because it's it's raining outside. I just came home from work. Okay, so now all of their attack is decreased, which means some of them may be put to sleep. Okay, so I put the skull crusher to sleep. That's very cool. Uh, and then I will do that. I don't think people. T I don't think they take more damage being put to sleep, but oh well. Uh, whom do I want to decrease the turn meter off? I want to decrease the turn meter of uh, the Skull Crusher, purely because I know for a fact that he would give everyone counter attack, and I do not really want that. Uh, let's see here if I'm able to to decrease the turn meter of him, which is very nice. Um, I will honestly see if I can weaken Tanassel, which I'm able to do, so now he will take more damage. And uh, now I just did a weak hit here. Let's just buff my own attack and increase my turn meter. Yeah, it's, so many, it's my turn so many times before they were even able to do anything. <laughs> like, they didn't really get to do much. They tanked a lot, but it, it, it did not get to do much. What about you? What's uh, AD 4K team power? Let's, get, let's refresh. Uh, Valium. Okay, well, I'm demonetized for talking about uh, drugs. <laughs> Isn't Valium like a drug? I think I think it is. No, it's not. Like it it, it is uh, important for for it's it's a motor drug. I've heard. <laughs> it's a it's a housewife drug. Um, I, I think it's for sleeping or something. I don't actually know though. So these guys are pretty fast. They're pretty quick. They're an extremely quick team, actually. Holy crap, three of them hit before I was able to do anything. And she has 277 speed. That's pretty insane. That's very insane. Do they have a good of amount of resistance? No. Okay, so I already got wrecked by Raisin Scar Raisin Ironhide, or whatever his name is. Okay, so let's uh, decrease all of their... Uh, let's remove their attack. And uh, yeah, let's just do that instead. 
Uh, yeah, this is actually a very close battle. I'm not sure if I'll win or not. Let's see here if I'm able to drop pre emptive strike and stun him. Racing, racing Ironhide is insane though. Holy crap. I can't believe this, man. Let's just continue and, uh, and do that. He's doing a lot of damage, man. He really is. Um, I can't really revive anyone yet, so I'll just do that. Now it's him versus my versus my two heroes. Uh, at least it decreased his attack, which is very nice. He did do a lot of damage, though. Um, I can't. I, I'm not going to use that yet. I'm just going to see if I'm able to weaken him. At least it decreased his turn meter, which makes me able to revive and get myself an extra turn. Boost my own turn meter and heal myself. And my freaking ray is dead one more time. Let's see if I can decrease his defense. Okay, at least did that. Let us just remove his defense. And then I just wanna see if I can take him out. Okay, yeah, this was a difficult team. This was a this was a strong team. Racing Scarhide, not Ironhide. Racing Scarhide is insane. He's a great hero, man. He really is. He's kicking some series, but Ninja Papa! Ah, 104. I don't have too many attempts remaining. What about you? Uh, Kaisar. Yeah, this could be an interesting team. Uh, Shirinami. This is a team full of good heroes, to be honest. All of them is good. Like, Martyr is fantastic. Uh, Freaking um, um, Arbiter is fantastic. Sh Shirinami is fantastic. Ray is fantastic. I skill like three of them, which is fantastic as well. Let's buff, but let's buff my own turn meter. Let's boost my own turn meter, I should say. I didn't put anyone to sleep, unfortunately, and then I will do this. Seems like their, um, their, what should you call it, Arbiter didn't really have a lot of speed. Um, I genuinely don't care who I hit at the moment. Who do I, let's, let's not get our defense decreased, why not? Uh, sure, let's just take out her. I could also, yeah. I can't get provoked because she's already, you know, skill locked, the martyr. At least decrease her turn meter again. <laughs> Yeah, this was a this was an easy victory. That's the difference between teams, I guess. Some are pretty insane, uh, and some don't have the correct um, accuracy or resistance. I think that's a very important thing to do uh, to have have be good at, and also speed. Speed is very important. Uh, I think. I think this could be an interesting team. This is an Ignatius, uh, which I do think does deal a lot of damage to my memory. Uh, so this could be an interesting thing. Um, Tyrell is holding up nice, so he's tanking a bit. Um, he's, uh, he's definitely good. Uh, I'm happy I skill locked two of the important heroes there. The most important ones, in my opinion. Let's see here if I'm able to put... Okay, so I put two, two of them to sleep as well. And then I will do this and hopefully freeze. Okay, never mind. I, I froze them permanently. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, this is a team... This is a... Like everyone. Literally everyone here is level 60. Literally all of the enemies are level 60. What is this team? I can actually see what that team is because I do think I can get five attempts For just purchasing an ancient shard, you know, Let, let's also get a legendary real quickly while we're doing this I figure why not? Let's let's just get a legendary. Why not? One day man one day. It's a 0.5% chance, but one day Uno day man one day. Okay, let's let's get five of those. Let's uh, let's claim in and I want to look at that team, because that might be like a team that could kick my ass, to be honest, with that uh, Gallic. Arena, let's see here. Nah, 96k team power, nothing too too, too interesting. Uh, 114k team power, these guys have a pretty heavy hitter. Now for a fact that that guy, he can do a lot of damage. Uh, he can do a crap ton. Okay, so let's first of all skill lock and decrease their attack. I skill locked three of them, that's a good start. Uh, that means the Gorgorab cannot... Uh, revive anyone uh, when they die, which hopefully they will die. Hopefully all of them will die right now. And yeah, I did it. Also, I boosted his, boosted his turn meter while everyone died. I suppose Ninja Papa, why not? Let's just do it. You, you're on your own uh, on like the top of the list. The top is the bottom here, I suppose. Uh, because yeah, that's how it works. Like the points, even though everyone has like the same amount of points at this at this point, almost close to. Okay, so I skill like some of them. I put two of them to sleep. I don't know. Is is it good? Is Tyrell better than my? Tur I don't think I don't think he is better than my Tomb Lord. I just don't think he is better than my Tomb Lord. I'll be honest with you. I just I don't think so. Uh, I think my Tomb Lord is just overall better. Uh, that that's just how I feel. I suppose. 
100, like my Tomb Lord is, is genuinely just better for Arena. Just, he, he is just good. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you, he, he does he does do good things. And if I do put anyone at half health, that means he will just poison everyone and poison is great. Poison ignores armor. And that, who wouldn't want that? And he also just deals more damage as he's, he's just good. Like look at that. Like I think Tomb Lord genuinely just is better. And I just decree removed the Okay, so she revived. Good for her, I suppose. Whom do I let's just decrease her turn meter, I guess, so it's not her turn in a while. Look at all the let's look at all of that poison though. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Hegemon is actually doing a good amount of damage. Look, he's stealing more than Marae. Uh Hegemon is a great hero, <laughs> he really is. <laughs> like I can't I can't complain. I can't complain whatsoever. Um Let's let's fight uh, let's fight this team right here. I'll, uh, who is this? Horden, and then we have Race and Scarhide, Atel and Gorgrab. This is uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm curious. Yeah, I'll just use my Tomb Lord for the final battles because I don't know. He seems better. Then I will just put the, the life steal ba life steal gear back onto Tyrell. Then I will have their defense decreased, and I will just. Crit the race and Scarhide, getting all of them heavily poisoned, and then I will do this, and I will not survive. They just won't survive. Okay, let's do the final battle as well. Let's let's do this one. Sure, why not? Sure, man. Sure, why not? Who who was their uh, main guy? Does he? Yeah, he does incre increase their speed by twenty four percent. This is Fushan, right? Fushan, and the other is race and Scarhide. Now I know it. <laughs> now now I kind of know the difference. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, okay, so the, he they're resisting some of him, I guess. That's fine. That's whatever. I need I need a lot more accuracy on all of my heroes, just a, a lot more. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy, you should leave a like and you should subscribe. If you didn't like, please let me know why, and you are allowed to dislike. But yeah, that's about it. I'm out of focus. I'll just end it up.